Dark elves, just regular elves. They're not though, they're dark. It's false advertising. Um, I didn't even look at his team. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the ogres have got. I think they've got a slight chance of winning the first game, but then again, pro elves, you know, pro elves is no chance. Would have would have fancied a chance against like eleven man chaos. I think any any bash team that's paying TV for block with eleven men, you've got a chance against, haven't you? <laughs> Hello, Jamis McGamis. What? What's a fucking disaster? <laughs> Match just could go either way. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You could. It's. I don't. I don't think Necro are that good against uh, elves because while you've got some very mobile players, you've also got ve some very immobile players, don't you? Which is uh, not ideal. So definitely, good games are winning rather than all games. All games from quarterfinals. So just good games. Mm. Yeah, if you get the wizard, yeah. Hello, Mellow Gold. Yeah, that's, that's the thing in it because, like, you're quite, you've got quite a good matchup against Clawpon in many respects, um, due to due to having expendable linos that, that can eat eat Clawpon blocks. But those expendable linos, while they are good at doing something that linos do. They're very fucking bad for like getting out maneuvered by hell, right? Oh, well done. I can only dream of a record like that, my little girl. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's very good. It's very good. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be back uh, back in Germany on the second of February, so I can probably do some uh, some fucking PS4 PS4 laddering this season, maybe. Because Senai has the, uh, what is it, PS, PS, PS Plus or whatever, whatever the fuck the online PlayStation shit is. Senai has, oh god, I don't, I don't do fucking blocks. Um, so yeah, I could do that, whereas I don't actually have the online for Xbox. So I might wait for the start of the season to get that. Oh, good job, it was three dice. I'm so good at Blood Bowl. Don't really want to be squashed from the sideline, do I? God, it's loud as fuck the outside here. Crazy. Ah, uh, <laughs> fuck! Maybe I should have gone for the pickup before I did a two dice without one. Ah, uh, Janice McGamis is my opponent. That's why he said. That's why he said what a load of shit. <laughs> right. I should unmute, shouldn't I? Um, I muted because somebody said said something that I didn't like. I can unmute now. Hello.
<laughs> Nobody's <Woody's> though. <laughs> I don't know, I think I'm a Woody coach now. Yeah, in progress, that's what I'm thinking. I always have no chance, would logically lead to might as well stream it, yeah. So I guess I might as well, yeah. I guess I might as well stream it. Because the Ogres we do have pretty much no chance. I don't either. I'd probably just go for whatever was easiest to qualify with. So I guess not 12 5 0. So I guess I wouldn't go for Woody's. Depends what the second best Woody was. I could get a wild card. Maybe. Woody's would be the, obviously the easiest team to win with. And they're quite good down TV as well, aren't they? Getting those with. It's the filler second team for now. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I should do second second team. Dogs is just a shit name, isn't it? And the weevil's called dog. Like that's that seems like a not not something I should be doing. Yeah, I might do dwarves, but then hippie hippie threatened <laughs> threatened to snipe my wood elves if I did dwarves. <laughs> so I've been scared. I'm scared to do dwarves. I think I will do dwarves though. I think I will do that. Maybe orcs. I don't know, I've done orcs before. I do dwarves. I think I'll do dwarves actually. I got the edge up on the on the werewolf, didn't I? So I thought it'd be a bit a bit of a shame to never use them again. Dwarves would be really hard to qualify with, but then I wouldn't really be trying to qualify with the dwarves. It'd be more just to destroy hopes and dreams. In which case, maybe the core team would be better. Chorf, say. Eh? Could heat up the chorf race. And you can get up to there. Here, so we want people back here. Which means the only ones that can get back there. These two. Yes, there's a bit of a screen there, isn't there? Maybe he should have gone in there for oh, Really wanted the knockdown there. Thanks God. Could have made the cage stronger, but I thought having a couple of guys to stop stop the pressure there was good. Oh, fair enough then in because I mean I guess I can do both, I can get it and stream it and then and then do it as well. I didn't try with the woodies and scared. I'm scared. I'm not. I'm not so much sitting on the record as sitting on the healthy team. You know, um, playing would be scary. Playing would be scary um, because because it just would be. Yeah. I should, okay. I'll, I should change. Post this again. I post the straw poll just because it's good to get more votes, isn't it? Uh, beg your pardon. That is true, Ducky. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I think I could. Yeah, that's very true. You're both right. You're both right. You're both absolutely right. 
Wolfback and Ducky, yeah, it gets scarier the longer I wait. And, um, yeah. Yeah, maybe we could do some more with Woodies today. I like not playing them first game though, because if I play them first game, I usually play a bit shit the first game of the day. <laughs> oh, Pedro Jack. VIP Pedro Jack. Um, yeah, about 80. 80 points. One more win will put us on 80 points. So. I reckon. I would like guard. Ah, hello, Tinnathor. That's good. Um. Yeah, one or two wins should be enough. It's probably not. It might get. It might get the wild card right now, um, but it might have to play more. Yeah, it might have to play more. Um, I don't like this guy right in the middle, do I? Stick him in there. Ooh, let's think first. Three more. I've got three more. Yeah. Could stick him in there because it's not easy to hit him, and he's got stun first. Could even put him out there. Don't understand him just to get my boys. One, two, three, four. So don't follow. Oh baby! Cheeky cars. Okay, go on then, VIP Pedro. <laughs> oh, no. um, yeah, that's true. Where goes the land? Well, before they've got them, isn't it? That's the thing, isn't it? I don't want to foul, man. Come on. Come on, man. I don't want to foul. Like I literally started with 12 men so that I could foul. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We've got the faithful Herb Dirt base, base, base. <laughs> oh, I see you, Pedro. <laughs> Just regular eyes. Wow. 
unbelievable, Pedroja. I have done that on occasion. Um, but it, it depends. I mean, if you've got, you know. Yeah. Yeah, true, the record is entirely. Right. That's true. Um, yeah, I saw that wolf bark. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, alright, so gonna probably have to play. I don't actually need to move this down, but. Because I could do the blitz first, but. If I do the block first here, then it means I can get the other block guy forward. I don't like having two block guys in the same position. They're my only reliable blocks, aren't they? At least you're going to get knocked down. Knocked down again. It takes up the blitzer at least, doesn't it? Might have been pushed. You never know. And if he gets pushed, then he gets in the way and takes up more players, actually. There's Jehiel, isn't there, Pedro Joe? Yeah, it could be that Jehiel. Yeah, exactly, Wolfpack, yeah. BB snort. <laughs> it just happened to snort there. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> it wasn't a conscious decision to snort, as I said. BB snort. But uh, I do have a bit of a cold. <laughs> Okay, so this this guy's the blitz victim, isn't he? Oh, he's not because I've got the blitz the blitz him. One, two, three. Come round. Go up here, can I? I don't know. Could hand off. I could blitz him. And then he could go there. Which would be pretty good for getting ahead. I mean, I'm running out of time a little bit. Could just not advance. But then I guess the flesh needs to now. Can use the one flesh he did to get forward, I guess. You skin for the assist. Could have pushed him in on the block, but just want to make things safer. Oh. Just get a Kaz. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good to be a looker new.
It's high the air. Hide the wolf. And also hide the uh, hide the goo. I could I could herb dirt base over there, and then it would take three players out of three players to two for a turn. Nah, I think probably better to just get forward, isn't it? With them not having block, I think standing up's a lot, a lot better. <laughs> Jelly, no audio, no audio guy. I mean, you can basically assure, like with dwarves, I think that was, was it. I don't play dwarves to get the guard of his sitting next to the door to the yards, I think. Um, that's the thing. Whereas you know that fucking wood elves are going to come on straight late in the season. And I would like guard on, on some players. I would like a better team. Obviously, losing the natural one turner would be. Very bad for the playoff chances. Wouldn't, wouldn't, you know, end them by any means, but it wouldn't be good for the playoff chances. I'm probably just going to do Wood Elves later TLC. Probably three games a week today. I mean, I think I'm, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm just going to fucking go for the goodies. There you go, did my bro. Good shout standing up, Jimmy. Well played, thank you. I'd rather the Widow be able to, I'd rather the Wolf be able to blitz people on offense. So, I mean, I did score twice with him in the first game. Um, but, if he's carrying, he can't really blitz it, can he? Very, very well. He's here as a hand option now. Um... Let's see what happens. I'd like to have a good turn here. That would, uh, that would be good. To have a good turn. <laughs> Not as good as it could have been. Blocks, block. No good. Blocks, block, block, block. No good. Cargo one dicer. That really wanted to be a power, didn't it? Could blocks him. Hand off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, four punch. Pretty sticky this turn. I think the handoff's looking a good option here. Cause I can't get. I could just put an assistant here, couldn't I? I could put an assistant there. Two dice. Okay, let's just put the assistant here. See what happens. I really wanted to put him in there to stop both that way. Oh, and I could have chained out the witch elf actually if I'd got a push. So that would have been actually probably been better in a way to have got the push. Okay, four guys. I think it probably is best to. Uh, it's over here, isn't it?
Don't have to get too far forward. Fuck, it just hit my fucking toe. Oh my god. That hurts. Ow. 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 No scab on them makes them uh, hurt pretty much when you hit them. Uh, just because the first game of the day is usually worse, BB Snot. Hello, Satterfield. It did go well. What happened was. Uh, <sighs> What happened was the doctor pulled my scab off, and uh, now my toes look a lot better. But I really hurt hitting him just then. Sorry, I got a bit of a bit of a what's it called? Sneeze, cold, sneezes at the moment. Um, when am I giving us 1080p? Uh, well, probably go two weeks, second of, second of February is when that returns. Yeah, yeah very good points by Ducky and Eric behind me. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Jimmy level is pretty low. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. I usually play worse first game, so. Uh, go in there because there's more of a chance I think. Oh, Grindel, yeah, still king of the elves at the moment. Not top of the ladder though. Uh, Zagini took over as king of the ladder. But uh, still king of the elves, yeah. <laughs> With the skin, um, the skin. A lot of it is is just there, all right. It's it's quite open. It's quite open. Bloody and pussy. <laughs> but it looks pretty nice. It just scabs over that. That, that it's got it, like there's a huge scab. You know, like more than where the whole nail used to be. It was just it was just like all scab. And, uh, alright. So, I think he's over. Overdone here. He's done the purple goo thing of giving you something around there, but not enough. But he's, uh, he's left this open, hasn't he, here? him just so because he, he can move further. Could actually make a GFI. <laughs> Attempt a GFI. Oh, holy shit. What have I got myself into here? I can screen there. And there, and then someone up front, but then someone up front is going to get targeted, and I don't want it to be the wolf, do I? So two GFIs could get him to there. That means he goes here. No. Has to be back. 
to get the wolf out of the two out. So he can't base and he's just gonna go here. The wolf could GFI him all the way around there if, if, it, if he can. I think I will just actually get more stuff in the way in the front. I'm just go this way, can't I? You could block. I don't want him. I don't want him to go down. Am I further far enough forward here or not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, not far enough forward. Hmm. Maybe I. Sh maybe I fucked up there. Maybe I should have done. Been one forward. No, it doesn't master foul. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Hope we lose partnership for foot count. <laughs> He <laughs> would can't feel me, but I don't like not winning. <laughs> I don't like to not win, especially games that I would uh, that I would otherwise definitely win. So it's nil nil. I'd like to get a get a touchdown and uh, and feel good about myself. And then if I'm one nil up, I could try some passes. Maybe I could just hand off to the wolf. Seems I'm going to need a GFI anyway. Could obviously block, block and dodge on the wolf would would be really good. But then I'll block on block on block and wrestle on the ghouls would be really good as well, wouldn't it? So if I blitz this guy out of the way to GFI with him. Um, could run all around the houses? No, that'd be GFI. Not good. Oh, but could could blitz from here and then chain the wolf to here, then block him again out, and then two plus to the wolf, and the wolf could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I think the wolf score is probably going to be easier. I can't chain him forward. So it's either a GFI with a ghoul or a handoff to the wolf. And obviously you can't die doing a handoff. <laughs> That's true, lemon is good.
Nah, <laughs> oh, Fash, I knew Fash would, apolo would apologize. Approve of blocking for pushes, yeah, of course. I mean, I wouldn't. Blocking for pals is is not something you want to have to do, is it? Still got all three rerolls there. That's not bad, is it? Uh, thoughts about Andy's game? To be honest, I didn't I didn't watch a lot of it. So I did at the start. Um, I thought the undead coach was playing very poorly, um, but then somehow he somehow managed to make it one one at half time, didn't he? And then I don't know if it was. I don't know if it was the you know the dice or good play or bad play, but um, I thought he did well to stay in it till the end for sure. Yeah, the undead, because I mean his his team was far far worse, wasn't it? It was uh, getting to a getting to a penalty kicks was about the best he could have hoped for, especially as Andy spunked the reroll on the last turn. That uh, that was a bad. Bad decision, I think. I was a looking nerd, yeah. I mean, I, I could have rewrote. I did. I did one in nine uh, with a zombie block, who then stayed prone for much of the drive. <laughs> Yeah, I thought, I thought maybe she's a bit too patient in the second half. Um, I saw I saw the second half, the third half, the overtime, I thought. I thought he should have maybe tried to force something happen before he did. But, uh, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't pay too much close attention. I missed a lot of it. I did miss a lot of it, I'm not going to lie. Played very badly, yeah. They did the, the what from the start. The undead were playing very badly, yeah. Um, so I don't know if he if he picked up. I don't know if he started playing better, or if his dice were better, or if Andy played poorly as well. But for that undead team, you know, the 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 early course. There's the uh, straw poll for the playoffs, by the way. Oh, VGP's coming up strong. Strong, but no, not VGP, but mostly good games is, is what's getting involved there. <laughs> As we all were. Yeah. No, no, I was actually, I was actually doing something else through, through most of it. Um, I saw the first, the first chance in the ball where I would have taken the one dice with Russell Tackle. Um, I think once he once he'd used the reroll, that was better than a two dice with the equipment. So that that was the only thing. I was, you know, uh, really, I mean, it's all it's hard to say anything's wrong isn't it? because there's pros and cons. Trying a uh, what's going on here? Trying a uh, trying a one dice isn't necessarily better or worse. Than trying a harder, harder two, you know. And then, like, if you've got, if you know, there's there's times when you could get, let's say, you could get a one dice on the ball, and just because somebody tried to get a two dice on the ball, it doesn't mean and fail. It doesn't mean they were wrong to try that. Also, if you go for like, you know, but then. Just because the one dice is worse odds, it would give you an extra play for recovery and stuff. So everything's very contentious, isn't it, to say something's right or wrong. So it's... Um, but I, re I just really don't know what happened. Because, yeah, as as Jellyl said, when I was watching it, the Undead were playing very bad. So with a much worse team. And men down a lot of it. <laughs> so how he got to the... Uh, how he got the Kick, kickoffs, penalty kicks. I don't know, but uh, fair, fair play to him for getting to the penalty kicks. I would have definitely taken that with that undead team. <laughs> Four hundred TV down, and his uh, his stabby guy got sent off after turn one. <laughs> after one turn on the pitch, which wasn't. Don't think it was a good thing to induce, really. 
I think I would have probably got a couple of babes instead of him. Just due to the fact, you know, you know that Andy's got a pommer in a 90 blow. So, I don't know, what, does anyone know the exact percentage of, uh, of, with the, of somebody winning with a plus one? I know it's like close to two to one, but does anyone know the actual percentage? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Then you could actually work out whether whether it was the right play to go for them. If it's 60-40. Yeah, but he did though, didn't he? And then he used it on the last turn. So... So if it was, say, 60-40 without the reroll, then... Um, he had to. Uh, it's a. It's a D. Both sides roll the D six, and you add the number of re rolls you've got. Yep, that's correct. That is absolutely correct. So, so he needed twice the difference, didn't he? He had to have a twenty. If he had a twenty percent chance to win, then it was worth using the re roll, wasn't it? Because that, like, if it's sixty forty, if it's fifty fifty or sixty forty. Then a twenty percent chance is equal. Would you say that's right? I'm pretty sure Andy therefore knows how overtime works. So, <laughs> um, you know. So. You know, you'd have to work out what roles he needed. And then, what chance he would have had, and then if the chance was double the difference, it would have been worth it, wouldn't it? I don't think it was though. Instinctively, I would have not re-rolled it and gone the penalties with a plus one. But that doesn't make me right, does it? And most people were like, "Whoa!" and were shocked at the decision to use the re-roll, but it doesn't, it doesn't make it wrong. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have either. I mean, I would have just. But I mean, if I was playing, maybe I would have thought about what I needed and stuff. The fact that he was relying on a 3 plus catch without a reroll. Oh, my opponent disconnected. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, because he played Blood Bowl 2, didn't he? I don't know when he started playing Blood Bowl. Did he start playing Blood Bowl in Blood Bowl 2? Yeah, if he was going to use his reroll, I think he should have played more aggressively but not using the reroll. Because the fact, see, if I was him, he, 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 he saved it till the last turn and then used his reroll on the last turn. I would have not used my reroll but gone, gone heavier on the previous turns to put the pressure on and then, you know, hope of a hope of something so that, do you know what I mean, like, try to do it without using a reroll. I mean, if you started in Blood Bowl 1, then they, they had fucked up overtime rules, didn't they? So if you started and never really played tabletop. Yeah, so, okay, it doesn't know how, it doesn't know the rules then, probably hasn't read the rule book. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I would have. I think if I was him, I would have tried to get something going early. I think leaving it on the last turn for the sack was was too risky, especially if you're going to use a reroll then on the last turn. If you're going to use a reroll anywhere, trying to get the ball. Ah, uh, no problem, Jamis McGamis. I don't. I don't mind free wins. <laughs> but um <laughs> oh, eight years. So is that Blood Bowl one? Yeah, yeah, Clapman. The <laughs> the world rankings are uh let's see. Um Dunno. I don't know what the word is, but, <laughs> you know, like I say, they're not, they're not, they don't count for much. 
<laughs> I would say. <laughs> yeah. He mostly gone a UK BBL tournament, hasn't he? And he and he plays a lot with by the same race. So it's uh you're not gonna be shit. <laughs> you know, he's good, don't get me wrong, he's not he's not uh he's not he's certainly not you know, he's certainly very good at Blood Bowl. But the yeah, the, it's the system isn't particularly good for NAF ranking. Yeah, yeah. The fact that it's done by a race, so you could literally win ten in a row. Well, you could win twenty in a row with all different races, including ogres, and you would have no good ranking. And then you could win forty, lose ten with dark elves, and be really high in the rankings. So. <laughs> Well, it, it does matter, Jellio, in terms of... Uh, you, do you have audio, Jellio, before I fucking waste time talking to you? <laughs> when, start, when one starts playing matters for knowing the overtime rules, doesn't it? Because Blood Bowl, if he started on Blood Bowl 1, which maybe he did, um, I don't know, eight years ago, um, then maybe he did start on Blood Bowl 1. If he started on Blood Bowl 1, maybe he never read the rule book, And... They had fucked up overtime in Blood Bowl ones. So. That's good. <laughs> it's not that I don't like them, they're just obviously not not great. It's just not a, it's not really a great I mean I don't know, it's just you just can't draw a lot of conclusions from it. It's not it's not it's not, it's not even saying it's a bad system, it's just it's not particularly good. <laughs> I'm sure he is fast. It was funny, there was a thing about magic. There was this leaflet from magic, and it was like, so, you're the best magic player in your house. Now it's time to improve. And <laughs> my friend's brother started playing, and it's like, he'll never be the best in his house. It feels bad now. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, I mean, I don't know, you know, obviously all the people who are in the top 100 are really good at Blood Bowl, so it's not, it's not worthless at all. You know, probably everyone in the top 200 is very good at Blood Bowl, or whatever. It's just, yeah, exactly, the, the ones at the, the ones at the top of the list are very good coaches, yeah, exactly, of course, totally. yeah. <laughs> I've actually I've I've played Senai once I think and lost. So yeah I'm not even I'm not even the best blood ball player in my house. Oh he got back just in time <laughs> Oh man Oh man Oh <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> In the nick of time. <laughs> That's there was about five seconds left, wasn't there? No, he's in the chat, Smoko, so... He's in the chat, so I don't think he would do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not true flash blinder. Oh it wasn't a block player. Why wasn't it a block player? How many blitzers does he have? Oh I've got one. <laughs> uh, two. That was a block over here. Did he blitz with it, I guess? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, Skuro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a risk getting trying to get her to play blue ball at all. Risky business. Right, 
is there a way through here? Not really. Well, I mean, I guess technically, but not really. Fleshy. No double mark. I'll be a good boy. Good dog. Locks a good skill. Who knew? <laughs> I want to hit him. Even though... Feels like I should hit him. Then he'd be stuck on two, wouldn't he? But then he'd be stuck on three. And then I'd rather take a block player out than a lineman out. Maybe I should have put both ghouls over here. This is a three plus two plus out either way, with him being there. Maybe I should have put a ghoul there and a ghoul there. This ghoul is somewhat surplus to his requirements, isn't he? I think he goes there to assist that block. But it'd be better to do this one first. Dog there, got ghoul back. So I think him going here and turning the corner here is, is not so bad. I guess I could have put him here so that if I powered him, I could have put him there, it would have been better. But never mind, I'll just be a looking nerd and get a stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly dying from the computer. Nice. Yeah, really in the wrong place with this with this ghoul, aren't I? That would have been next to a dodge. I mean, probably would have passed, but yeah, this would have been a better place, I think. Mean, for the ghoul. <sighs> that was my chair, by the way. I didn't, I didn't fart. It could be bullshit coming. No, oh, yeah, he's not stranded there. You could just move in from assist there. Mm. Not stranded. So maybe, maybe blocking the blitzer would have been better. Not easy to protect the ball, though, is it, here? Four heroes. Outrageous. Oh man, zombie, zombie interception incoming. Huge getting two stuns that time. Huge. <gasps> ah! 
I've had the better days as well, I haven't had to use it with it. But anyway, it's made two more two pluses now. So I guess that's put off the pass. With the reroll gone. Quite a switch now, isn't it? It's a bit too slow to get there. By the looks of it. Ooh, not now. Don't like that play. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI to hit this block. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double G if I had to hit with frenzy, which doesn't work. No, I think. G if I had to hit with a zombie is better than G if I had to hit with a ghoul, isn't it? There for a possible, possible pickup. I don't want to make blocks that don't need to be made. But it'd be nice to have someone on him for the stop the car. I don't want to take a break down, do I? Maybe I could have taken the ball down. But I just feel like I wasn't really in the position to take advantage of it. Maybe I could have done. Because I guess he wouldn't have taken the. Uh, he wouldn't have. He would have used Wrestle, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have forced the turnover in case his witch died. So maybe I should have taken the boat down. It was a strange roster. Um, I basically went with the 12th man to get two ghouls. I guess one ghoul. I, would, I wouldn't have normally started with it. It was... Uh, it was... One flesh golem, one wolf, two ghouls, three rerolls. I think I would have gone two fleshies, and you know, only eleven players would be, would be better. But the thing is, if he wrestles, he, he gets up in a he just gets up anyway, doesn't he? So yeah, I don't know. maybe I should have wrestled. I, I took my butt down. He might he might have got the turnover. Oh, white. Right. White interception. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. What would be really nice is if we had a, a ready-made cage over here. Ooh, we do. <laughs> Mm. 
He doesn't want to stand up yet because I can block him for this is three days isn't it, now with, with the assist from the ball carrier. Get a power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I actually meant to follow. I meant to follow him, but just didn't. That was good. Yeah, exactly, Jolly. Yeah, they're throwaway players, aren't they? They're, they're really good value for 70k. They're like so good for 70k goals. And you're so slow without them, you know? That's that's what I think, especially against elves. Against, they're like, they're so slow. It's 30k, though, to be like so much better. So much better. Uh, I would, I would, uh, normally I wouldn't start with two. Normally I wouldn't start with two. Normally I would start with one. With one ghoul. But um But I would always have two on the roster. Just because I think they're just, they're just too good for something to care. Too good lads, boys lads. I like the plus plus movement Amazon, aren't they, for twenty K now? Yeah, exactly, Mr. Goodcat. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Seems a bit split here, isn't it? Splitting her. I do have the connector here though. I've been so lucky this game. <laughs> like ridiculously lucky. I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> I can't even spin it <laughs> any other way than just being ridiculously lucky. Do a one dice into a two dice. <laughs> and then there's no one to benefit from it though. Could dodge away in a two plus. Don't care about it. So lucky this game. <laughs> Clearly the secret has been found there. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that's the thing. They're just so much better, especially against like elves and stuff. Yeah, I can I can see going for one, but I just think you don't always want a zombie. You know, zombies are great against chaos and stuff. You know, um, yeah, no, I would definitely not have none. Yeah, you, I think you've got to have one. Um, this one is not. There's actually pro tips necros, isn't there? Is, is there is there a necro guy? There is. There's probably a necro guy. Um, is there a command for that? Just for Nurgle and Ogres and Chops. Uh, Necro. Okay. Give me a minute. Give me a Dalo minute here. Alright, good games won won out massively for the Witch Witch games to cover on, on the old uh, replays or Like th this one isn't so this starting it. team isn't one that I'd normally do. I just did it for uh, I don't really know why. <laughs> I literally don't know why I did this. <laughs> I just did it a little bit different. All right. Bam! There's Necro. So yeah, th this one. I actually started with uh, 12 players and only one fleshy. Um, which is like a bit of a mix of a few different starting rosters. Oh, there's a witch elf there. Nearly blocked with our block. Pushed him in the wrong square, blocked my path. Not good. He could blitz though. This is a pretty important one to, uh, to not fail, isn't it? Interesting. I think not blocking there is fine. He could just uh He could just stand there. This was really poor pushing him there. I wanted him to keep him based up by uh, the fleshy but pushed him there, this this guy could have come back here. I guess I can put him on the sideline. It's not bad, is it? I don't hate it. Not even on the sideline. Oh god! <laughs> it was from Claw as well. What a ridiculous! What an absolutely ridiculous game. Dicing and a half, even got the intercept. Yeah, I, I could push there and then push him back. But I've only got two rerolls, and he's already in a pickle, isn't he? Yeah, wolves are not TV efficient. No, they're really good, but they're not TV efficient. Yeah. But uh, war dancers are, aren't they? Oh, VIP scroll dude there? Yeah, war dancers are like unrivaled, in, unparalleled in TV efficiency, aren't they? They're outrageous, completely, completely fucking bonkers. Uh, war dancers. Yeah, I, I I would never not have two ghouls because you can bench them against uh, against chaos, you know. Because the the, the 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 argument for zombies is claw bombs, isn't it? Really, essentially, because 
you know, moving forward, Chalitty 2 guys are great. Whoa, hello, Goliath Games. Um, but when you're playing stuff like, you know, uh, Dark Elves or whatever. Oh, he's in the way, this guy, isn't he? Can I even get a foul in? Um, if a Blitzer back, I could get a foul. So. I'm going to go for the old. The classic. Blitzer back and foul. Hmm, can hand off to the dog. Yeah, he does level up with another skill. Risky handoff, isn't it? Because a failed catch here could lose it. Phew. Where does he go? GFI. One, two, three, four. So he goes there. <coughs> and uh, finally get the phone. Yeah, that's true. It's real good. Yeah, I agree. He's <laughs> talks up balcony. Most of those teams will have a tackle mighty blow piece, well, player. But, you know, you protect your ghouls because they're fast. If they do. And then, you know, there's obviously there's playing involved, isn't there? There's no point just having a ghoul and putting him on the front line and being surprised when he gets killed. But if you make it so that to hit your ghouls, they've got to get pawned by your fucking white, then they're going to be reluctant, aren't they? <laughs> So, yeah, exactly. They're cheap and one skill away from being really good. Yeah, I, I really, I really rate them. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm right and other people are wrong, because I know nobody likes that, <laughs> and it isn't, it isn't the case, is it? You can never say in Blood Bowl that something is right or wrong because everything is situational but um, I would say you can get me here do I just uh, Splits there and then leave, leave this open and uh, double G fire there. Yeah, I guess that's that's the play. Um, but yeah, personally, I am I really like the ghouls and would never would never not have them. But pl plenty of people who who do well don't have ghouls, so it's not. Well, some even don't have them all together. And some people only have one, so it's it's absolutely valid to have less than two, but just not something I would learn to do. Keep them based up. Foul or not bother? I guess not bother. I can't re-roll this, but 
Well, it comes in less time now. I don't know. I would have broken the armor. Looking pretty safe. Yeah, I carry the wolf in the first game and then get block on him and then use him to hit stuff. However, <laughs> I didn't I didn't get the uh the block on him this time, so <laughs> I can't <feel> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wouldn't y you know <laughs> There, there's certain that this is why I don't like the big leagues because there's an argument for playing like that in in these big leagues. And I really, I really don't like the big leagues. I really don't like them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. With back, I'll, I'll definitely carry. It's a bit like witch elves, you know. Witch elves are are, uh, are rubbish without block or wrestle, aren't they? So I'll carry. I'll carry for the first game with with dark elves with a witch elf. Get block or wrestle, obviously. 99 times out of 100 I go block, but, um, and then yeah, exactly, the, the frenzy, they're similar aren't they, they're very similar, uh, witch elves and, witch elves and werewolves, they both, they're both witches and I think I think at a thousand TV, I think a ghoul is just better than a werewolf. <laughs> you know? That's the thing. Uh, at a thousand TV, I mean, not just as a rookie. EG. Crazy dice in TBH. I mean, it was. It, that was a fucking crazy dice. I I can't believe it. Can I make it? Um, three dice is more likely to turn over, but also more likely to get the push than I need. Oh, I can't reach. I can't reach with three dice. It'd be a GFI. It, it was a fucking dicing that. Look at that. Fucking four cards. Get out of town. How is that even? And then and got the interception. I guess if I get both down, I can just two dice with a good. Yeah, the the only things, funnily enough, Cat uh, mentioning mentioning that nil nil draw. The only things that really aren't disputable are winning on turn sixteen of a of like a playoff game, aren't they? Because even uh, you know, or a finals game or whatever, or a res environment. Um, because even then, you know, if you the best, the statistically best chance to score on turn sixteen might not be the best thing to do because you might just not want your guy to die from doing it. I'll risk this. Risk this for a biscuit already 1-0 up. Doesn't matter, does it? I don't know why I moved that <laughs> Sorry. For some reason I thought they were both assisting. I was fucking off my, off my nut. What damn my fucking nothing? Yeah, me too, Dippy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm really <laughs> Rolls claw and gets mighty boss. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was that was an absolute. It was just pure dicing, wasn't it? If I, I would have been really pissed to be on the other end of that. I mean, he didn't. I think he was maybe he's a bit of scenes is in chat. I can, I'm free to talk about it now. I think he was too passive on defense. A lot of the turns was, uh, especially the early turns when I had the 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 deep the deep pickup. Um, 
I thought he held off too much. Should have probably... Wow, well, had, actually had good dodges, but didn't have the dodge skill, so... Uh, and... Uh, kind of poor GFI, but that's a, that's a lot of dodges. Made too many dodges. Played too passively in general. But then, obviously, when you start... To, when, the, when all the cast started rolling in, it got harder and harder, didn't it? And the interception as well, I mean... Crazy. But then that you that that's exactly the sort of game where you make the interception, isn't it? Like you know the game, the the random the random game um, in for Tony plays Paulie's birthday for fifty dollars. Obviously in that game, when I've got a five plus intercept with pro, I'm not going to make the intercept. But when it's a uh, when it's a game where I'm already dicing somebody and men up and just dominating the game, then a, a casual casual white interception in a tackle zone was bound to happen, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I don't think I've rolled a double on Blood Bowl 2 on a wolf. Um, I, don't, I don't think I have. I don't know what to do here. Probably nothing. I think just keep this team and min-max to the max. That doesn't sound good, does it? Maybe buy the second wolf now, seeing as one has block. Could get the second wolf. Got the money. It just becomes loads of TV, though, doesn't it? Right, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.